Hey guys, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper, and I'm back this week <clears throat> with another project for you guys, and this one's going to be fire starters. Um, well, for this particular video, it'll be about one fire starter. <clears throat> and uh, we commonly always look for uh, cheap easy ways to create fires on the internet. I know when I first became a prepper, I started looking all over the place. <clears throat> and uh, the one I commonly came across, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, and that's the um, cotton ball and the Vaseline, right? And so for an example, you know, here I, I have everything ready here somewhere. You know, just for those of you who maybe are new to the prepping world and, and, and don't know what I'm talking about, right? So they they tell you to take a cotton ball, right? And then they tell you to smear it all up in Vaseline and, and work it in really good, right? And let me give you a, a really close-up view of what they're asking you to do here, okay? And you see how nasty and, and messy that, that really is. It's, it's really a pain in the butt. And you end up with more on your hands than you do on the cotton ball, right? And then they tell you, oh, put it in a medicine thing, right? So you put it down in there and you stack a few of them up, right? I'm not going to go through all that. And then you take the, the time to... Clean yourself all up, right? And you're thinking, okay, the worst of it's out of the way. But then, you need to use it, right? So you go back in and you fish it out and you get it. And you're working it out the way they tell you to, which is to fluff it, right? You get it all fluffed out. And what do you realize? Your hands are now covered in Vaseline again, right? So now you have to take the time, wash your hands again, get them all clean so that hopefully you don't do what I've heard stories of people doing, which is actually catching their hands on fire. All right, it, it's not a very efficient way. As you can see, I, I wiped it all off. But the point in being is this is this is really not the best way to do this. All right. This is a dirty, messy, and can be dangerous way to do it. So in the trash it goes. I won't use it. I thought about it for a while and what I actually came up with is basically that cotton ball full of Vaseline I just threw away. <clears throat> All right, is, let me bring this down just a little bit further. Right there. Okay, here, let me give you a little better. That's not the greatest view, All right? This is a American Dime. This is the same petroleum soaked cotton ball and it fluffs out very easy just like anything else does the only difference is you're left with just a little bit of Vaseline on your fingertips that you can easily just wipe away in a quick emergency time when it might be cold it might be raining, you want to get a fire started soon, quick, fast, and you don't want to mess with nastiness. Well, there it is, the exact same thing. Great thing about doing it that way, too, is they're easy to, to store, stack, put away. You can put them just in a plastic baggie and look, look how nice and 
freely those move. I mean, you're not going to deal with a bunch of crud all over the place, ending up in your bag or wherever you end up putting it, back in your pocket or, you know, wherever you keep your fire starting stuff. Me, honestly, I, I have full-on fire kit that I put together and um, probably will end up walking you guys through this because it's, it's a pretty cool little fire kit. <laughs> um... So, needless to say, there's always a better way to do things. It's just using your imagination and figuring it out. Well, lucky for you, you've subscribed to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel, and uh, I figure it out for you. So, what you'll need for this project will be some sort of a pot, something that you don't necessarily care too much about or you can easily clean up, all right? You know, of course, we'll need your cotton balls and your petroleum jelly. Can't do it without it, right? <clears throat> you will also need yourself a little tin can now to give you an idea of how well these things actually work oh the other sorry hold up piece of cardboard that uh is done in parchment paper now you can use wax paper but i use parchment paper so you can actually tape it to the back okay so that it, it stays really nice and uh i also use these little finger uh finger gloves um just to put a little extra skin in the game um not a necessity but i like a little like i said a little extra skin in the game so <clears throat> That's that same piece I fluffed out. We'll fluff it a little bit more. Just because uh, the more you fluff it. <clears throat> this is one thing uh, not everybody remembers to tell you. But the more you fluff that. And the more you expose those inner fibers. The better it's going to work. <clears throat> okay. So I carry two different fire kits. I carry one in my everyday carry or what some people might call your get home bag. Um, and then my other bag um, that I tend to carry is, uh, well, not tend to carry, but I have is my inch bag, which stands for I'm, ne I'm never coming home bag. Now, the reason I prefer to use that term is because when you're building a bag like this, it, it's exactly what you're trying to build it for. You're never coming home. You want to make sure that you have everything in that bag that you're going to need to take care of yourself for a long period of time so that um, you have time to acquire other things, get comfortable, you know, all those types of things. And that's that's where my larger fire kit comes in handy. All right, this goes in my inch bag. <clears throat> so, in my everyday carry bag, I don't carry these. I, I carry these, which will be a later project, <clears throat> probably next week. And I carry a magnesium strip with a built-in ferrocerium rod. <clears throat> So that gives me two different uh, tenders and a way to create fire. Because <clears throat> you should always have multiple tenders, multiple ways to start fires. <clears throat> so let's see how, uh, how rusty I am. Oh, wrong side. My bad. There we go. Just had to use the right side. But, so, these little things, they 
they burn for a good amount of time they put off a really good flame they're clean and they're really super easy to make and i really look forward to showing you guys the the steps that it takes to make a quick easy simple efficient fire starter the size of a dime and might i mention clean again nobody likes a mess when they're already in muck everybody likes to try to stay as clean as they can when they're trying to survive you know that that sense of human you know so who wants to deal with a bunch of grease let's be honest <clears throat> so tune in at the end of the week friday and i'll take you step by step on how to make these and hopefully we'll have a little fun doing it together i look forward to doing this and many more projects with you that are way more simpler than well my first project <laughs> so remember god's good and god bless and uh tune in friday on how to make what i like to call my fire buttons <clears throat> see you then <laughs>